Here is one AI code assistant from GitLab that you need to know about to boost your productivity. Code suggestions. The easiest way to try it out is by opening any GitLab project with a web IDE. The code suggestions feature is already turned on, so you can just start writing code. The first way to do this is to just accept the suggested code as you type it. You can do this by pressing the tab key on your keyboard. This is the autocomplete feature, but there's more. You can also generate code by writing a comment that serves as a prompt for the AI to write code for you. Wait a second or two and voila. You can see that the AI is thinking because this nice icon appears here in the gutter where the line numbers are displayed. You can also turn off the code assistant from the status bar. This is useful just in case the AI misbehaves and tries to take control of your project. By the way, I absolutely love working directly from the GitLab web IDE because it saves so much time. Instead of cloning each repository locally, I can just open it in web IDE, make some quick changes and then get on with my life. But if you're not sold on the web IDE thing, you should know that this also works if you're using Visual Studio Code or any other IDE locally. All you need to do is install the GitLab workflow extension and connect it to your account. Finally, if you're concerned about privacy, that's normal. I did look over the privacy terms and I couldn't find any hints that your code is being used by GitLab or by their LLM providers to train AI models. And now the most critical question of all, is the code assistant free? Well, it's complicated. At least until February 15, 2024, this feature is free for all tiers, including the free tier. So now is the best time to try it out. However, the plan is to make it a paid feature afterward. I truly hope that at least a limited version of this feature will still remain free so that potential users can try it out before upgrading to a paid plan. What do you think? Leave your comments below and stay tuned for more GitLab tips and tricks by clicking that subscribe button.